It's Thursday afternoon now. I haven't been showing too much of what we do in the mornings because it's usually just the same of either we pick the beach or the pool to go to. And we stay there, Samuel takes a nap, and then at lunchtime we come back to the house and do something else. So today they have tie-dye at the activity center where you can like tie-dye a shirt or a towel. And so that starts at two, so we're gonna get ready to go. And then tonight, Scott and I are doing date night. So we're driving off the island onto Beaufort and going to eat somewhere, maybe go get dessert somewhere. So that's all we've been doing. I've been getting pretty burnt. Yeah, it looks a little red, but I get burnt every day. But I've been using this that I showed y'all I packed. And I don't know if it's this lotion specifically or just that I'm putting lotion on like three times a day. But when I get, it gets really red. And then I come home and I put this on a bunch. Like basically every time I come to the bathroom, I'll put some more on. And then by the next day, the redness is gone. And it's usually just tan. So each day there's like a new red spot. Because I don't think sunscreen works very well for me for whatever reason. But with this lotion, or it's probably just any kind of lotion that you're using. Putting a bunch of lotion on really helps. So, I'm about to get ready. I'm probably going to keep my hair in a bun because we travel everywhere on the island on a golf cart. And so having my hair down has not really been happening. But I'll probably straighten it for dinner tonight and wear something cute. But I've just been wearing like jeans and a t-shirt. So I'm in Scott and I's bathroom and I'm about to put a little bit of makeup on and then go do some tie-dye. I don't know what I'll tie-dye yet, but I'll do something. Officially on date night. I told y'all earlier that me and Scott were gonna go to dinner somewhere. So we drove into Beaufort. It was about a 30 minute drive to get to Beaufort. And we went to the number one rated restaurant on Yelp for dinner. And it was a gastro pub called Old Bull Tavern. And apparently a gastro pub is like a bar where they make really good food. And all the reviews said to make reservations, but we didn't. They're open from like five to midnight. So we got there at like 5.30 probably. And the only seat available was out in the patio, but luckily it was super shaded. I have a clip of what it looks like that I can add right here. But we started with some tavern cheese and toast, which basically tasted like pimento cheese, I think, kind of. And then I got, what did I get? Uh, pasta spoleto with pancetta and andouille sausage. Right, so super fancy stuff. I've never had pancetta. Is it pancetta? Yeah. But it was delicious. It was so good. And what did you get? I got a lamb shank and it came with some sort of like tomato y sauce. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it was called. But then I had mashed potatoes, carrots, and a few green beans. Right. And so, like I said, we were out on the patio and it was just us and then this other table of like two couples. And tell them what happened. Well, we were sitting there and we had already eaten our tavern cheese and toast, which was really good. And I finished my beer and we were sitting there and all of a sudden, one of the guys sitting on the table beside us 
stood up and went inside and when he came back to his table he stopped and said Allie your server will be right here and so we're like okay thank you um but so he can Allie came out and she was like rushing around filling her drinks and I was saying if I wanted another one I could get a new one you like know, beer. free of charge and I was like no I'm okay thank you uh, and then our food came right out but it turns out the guy was I guess the he's the owner and the master chef or the, the head chef who like so, comes up with all these fancy recipes yeah so it was super friendly but I, I don't know I guess we just kind of gave this look of like I don't know boredom or whatever we were just right. sitting there kind of being quiet I, th I think we're both really tired right and w I mean it wasn't a long wait for the food it, it was only a few minutes right so. We were just so caught off guard because he was like, your waiter or your waitress will be here in a second. And then she like was rushing and she was like, so sorry, apologizing that like our appetizer food was like the plate was still there and that our water was like halfway empty. And we were like, oh, it's okay. Like we weren't upset about anything and we weren't going to order anything else. Like, but I think, like you said, we're both tired and we've been together all week. So there's not too much to really like talk about. And it was just really nice sitting out on the patio. So we're just looking around. There's like Spanish moss hanging down. And so we're, I mean, we're pretty quiet most of the time, especially Scott is like more quiet, but we just didn't have anything to talk about. So we were just enjoying being outside. But I think it came across that we were like being snooty booties and we were not being snooty booties. We were just sitting there enjoying the beautiful atmosphere, but the food was super good. So, if you're in Beaufort or Fripp or anywhere around, I would say Old Bull Tavern, but make reservations because outside in the patio, there was only four, four top, ta like, tables. So, it's a pretty small little place, but it's number one rated. And now, we're about to try to go back towards Fripp, and we're going to go to Stellar Ice Cream, which apparently is, like, homemade they do like all kind of different flavors i guess but i'll show you what it looks like and i'm ready for ice cream mm -hmm. and dinner was delicious i got this dress at h&m and i don't think i like it as much as i did in the dressing room it looks a little grandma-y because sometimes it does shoulder pads but it's cute with the buttons and i have this it is a layered one from target and then this is my h&m shell for the ocean okay it's time for ice cream Surprise, we're back home already. So, I don't know the last thing I saw. So yesterday, which was Friday, we hung out at the pool and then went to dinner at this place called Dockside, which was probably about 30 minutes away from Fripp. 
but it was the super seafoody place. Like the only option that wasn't seafood or steak, which I don't really eat either one of those, was half of a rotisserie chicken, which I don't really like bones in my meat. So I got a salad and a potato. But everybody that got food said it was really good. And it was one of the top rated Yelp places as well. And then we rushed back to the beach to change and take family pictures, which turned out pretty well. I used this camera and like a six foot tripod, but my brother-in-law has the newest iPhone and some of his pictures turned out better that like in the portrait mode, those pictures are really good. But then we just went home and packed and went to bed at about 10. We woke up and left the house by what, 8.45? Went to breakfast on one of the golf courses in the restaurant on the island and then drove home. We got home in like right under four hours, which was super quick. And something I didn't mention yesterday, but yesterday my mom got a call from the place where she boarded her dogs and one of our dogs who was known to be an escape artist had gotten out. And so she spent the whole night in the woods, we didn't know where she was. And so Scott and I were the first ones to get home, so we unloaded our car real quick and then went. And luckily, Sadie came to us quickly because um, everybody was worried that we weren't, we didn't know where she was or if she was gonna find her way back home or what. But anyways, we're super happy about that. And then on the way back from getting Sadie out of the woods, we stopped by Chick-fil-A and now we're at home eating we we're super happy to see our dogs. We got to unpack. I love to unpack first thing, but we had a really good trip. I recommend Fripp Island if you've never been because it was beautiful. I love golf carting around everywhere. And if somebody, if like a somebody in your family likes to golf and other people like to go to the beach, it's the perfect compromise. Scott, what do you think about it? It was good. Probably one of my favorite vacations. Hang on. It was good. Probably one of my favorite vacations. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all he has to say about it. So I think we're going to wrap up our Fripp vlog. But like I said, we're going to unpack. And then in about two weeks, we're going to pack again. Because we're going to San Diego. Which I'm going to vlog that too. Never been to California. So it should be lots and lots of fun. But thanks for watching our Fripp vlogs. It's kind of hard to say. Our Fripp vlogs and I hope you subscribe and I'll see you later.